So we are continuing uh, through the Sermon on the Mount and a few of these. We've got the golden rule today. Do to others what you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. So that's the golden rule. And then we have this kind of curious and difficult passage about giving what is holy to dogs. It's one of the questions that people I hear with some regularity. Father Mike, what does that mean? Father Mike, what does that mean? And, uh, and I've heard a couple of reflections on it. And, and you know, we think about the, uh, the gifts of God's grace, the things of the church, holy communion to people who, who don't believe, who don't, who don't want to live a, a Christian life. If you give these things to them, they, they won't respect them. They will trample them. And, uh, and so that's, that's uh, you know, calling people, people to conversion, but at the same time, uh, asking people, even, I mean, I know this, I hope this doesn't sound too, we, have, we get a phone call, for example. I'm not Catholic, I'm not anything, but I just want to be married in your church. We say, well, no, this church is for the glory of God, not for the glory of you. And, and so we, we, we struggle with that, don't we, a little bit? How to welcome people, how to make people feel special and, and encouraged, but at the same time not to water down that which is holy. So, so our Lord is calling us to prayer. He's calling us also to enter into the narrow way. You know, you've all heard this, haven't you? Don't work harder, work smarter, right? Don't work harder, work smarter. And the narrow way, the narrow way, way sounds harder, doesn't it? It sounds more difficult. So again, there's some discernment that is called for there. I was reading a reflection. We're being introduced now to Abram and Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abram, you know, Abram is going to become Abraham. We start, we, we met Abram yesterday with his call. And now Abram and Lot have come to the land and they need to separate so their herdsmen their herdsmen have enough good pasture land. And so Lot looks around and what does he decide? He decides this land looks better. It's, it's green like Egypt, like the, like the Nile Valley. It's green like the Lord's own garden, like the Garden of Eden. And Lot says, I'm going to go that way. But there's, there's a problem that way. What's the problem that way? Sodom and Gomorrah. The people have turned away from God. There's something rotten there. And so it looks like the better place, but probably it's not the better place. He needed to look a little deeper. And so sometimes we, we have to, yes, of course, don't work harder, work smarter. But the easy way is not always the easy way. And so we pray for discernment and wisdom, don't we? We pray for that capacity to see beneath the surface. Enter through the narrow gate. The gate is wide and the road is broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. So we pray today for a discerning eye that doesn't just see what's easy, but sees what is truly good.